Okay, there was a question in the forum. Am I taking questions? Yes, I will do that now because I can sit down and look at them. So just please copy and paste the question again and I will have a look. Okay, thank you for the question. There was a question in the forum asking, is this uh, eagle nest uh, a normal nest? It seems a bit small. The answer is, I think so too. It does look a bit small. Um, it looks looks a little bit fragile, actually, to be honest. Um, I, I Gosh, I'd love to show you some other eagle nests in this area. There's so many. You know, once I get mobile, I will definitely try and do that. You know, we'll take a tour. Uh, from see a few eagle nests, and um, they are some enormous eagle nests. You're absolutely right. Um, the one I saw in Naimo uh, last year certainly seemed bigger than this. Uh, the ones I've seen in this area seem bigger. Uh, there's another um, eagle nest uh, about a mile to the east from here, and that also seems bigger. So I would agree, yes, this is definitely a bit smaller. There are quite a few eagle nests on, on the high voltage pylons. Now there's a big difference between putting um, pylons on distribution networks, which is called medium voltage, and those on high voltage. Um, it's much more dangerous for eagles to get electrocuted on medium voltage because uh, the electrocution doesn't come by sitting on one, one wire. That's why you've seen, seen birds sitting on, 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 on a single wire, you call it a single phase. It's only when they jump uh, when they touch over from a phase to a phase, that's right across because they usually three, they're three phases. Or if they touch between phase and ground, that's the other possibility. Then there's danger of electrocution. However, on the high voltage lines, the distance between the phases is enormous. And they put their nests right uh, into the high voltage mass, very, very high. So, uh, there's a very beautiful nest uh, on Highway 99 when I drive to work. Uh, highway 99 and they go Highway 91 across the Alex Fraser Bridge and just uh, on the bend from the from the South Surrey uh, entrance there is a nest there and it's on the high, vo high voltage pylon. In fact, that's the same nest uh, where last year a juvenile probably got too much of a draft and uh, came down too early and was then taken to to the um, owl center in Delta, uh, and and did very well and survived. Uh, anyway, those uh, you'll find them very often. Uh, the eagle nest on this high voltage pilot. As I said, there's no danger there for for any electrocution of eagles. That's that's uh, with that wingspan, it certainly is not possible. And if you've ever seen these high voltage uh, pylons as such are not dangerous. Uh, maintenance is, is uh, um, taken in live, so they go down with a helicopter actually, and um, it's possible for a person who's not afraid of heights to do repairs on high voltage lines whilst they're alive. Um, other than that, we have quite a few nests around here, at least 60 in the area. Well, there's a lot of complaining up in the nest. Oh, there's some, hang on, there's something going on now, and... Mars coming in, beautiful. 
I think you saw that. You saw that. Um, oops, and took off again. That is the strangest thing ever. That was only two, three seconds. I, I don't know what was going on. Um, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I've never seen that. It was nearly impossible to do a drop there. Maybe maybe she did drop something. I don't know who, who, who can, get a, uh, can get a view into the nest. But that was the shortest uh, 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 landing and takeoff I've ever seen. But they're still complaining, so obviously it seems like they're not happy. I'm not sure. <laughs> Here's a view of the sky at the moment, as you can see, uh, fortunately, uh, we don't have any rain. Now the dogs are also complaining. Obviously, I also have hungry. Everyone's hungry here, including myself. <laughs> Maybe Ma will drop some midshipmen for me. Probably she saw me go. Uh, saw saw how I'm, um, I'm 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 suffering here from from lack of food and probably getting worried. So I'll probably have a midshipman flying at me uh, in a minute or so, just as I fledge. So it's probably the timing is very good.
By the way, we did have a look yesterday at the technology here of the computer that uh, has been assembled. Um, it's uh, quite a high, you know, high, high um, i7 processor that's doing all this, uh, the, the, the broadcasting. What I'm doing is I'm taking a laptop to look at the, so I'm taking a laptop as, as a remote view um, that logs into the, to the live broadcast computer, which is located in the trunk of my car. <laughs> so it's, it's a quite a level of sophistication here. Uh, I'm, I'm really pleased now that the broadcast can be conducted very stable. So all we need is more stable weather, and um, I, think, I think it'll be quite exciting. I'll get a, probably a table here, and I can leave the things behind. That's the only disadvantage at the moment is um, I would have to, you know, when I drive away, then the equipment drives away. But uh, I think, I think again, that can be easily solved. I'm, I'm going to take a little bit more time to make things a little bit more compact for for, for taking out quickly, and uh, then, then I think within 10, 15 minutes, I can pack and unpack. Does any know, one know? I mean, apart from the um, just quick visit that we had so much, uh, so at the moment ago, five minutes ago, that went so quick. Uh, how often have Ma and Pa been here today, and how many fish did they drop?
Okay, if you have any more questions, um, now is the time to ask because uh, they are not visible, so I'm here to answer any questions. Okay, the question is how far I'm approximate from the nest. The height of the tree is 130 feet, and I think my, my distance at the moment is about 150 feet. Okay, that's, that's my estimate. It was fairly close, really, fairly close. Um, I'm, I'm elevated a little bit, so maybe it's even shorter, 100, maybe 130, 140 feet. Uh, I think that's, yeah, it's fairly close. Not the closest, by the way. There's one nest where you can go a lot closer. I'm not broadcasting from there because there are many people are, are there and you don't have this beautiful view. I'd, I'd like to go there one day, but uh, um, you know, if there are many other people and, and so on and they start disturbing you during the broadcast, I don't know, that's why I prefer actually broadcasting from this nest. Okay, I think I'm slowly going to pack up uh, sim simply because the weather is not that great and uh, I think hopefully tomorrow morning it will be better. I would love to do some broadcast for tomorrow morning exactly from this angle. I can't tell you exactly when it will be, but I certainly will announce it uh, simply because I don't know what the weather is going to be like. It, it's supposed to be better. If it is good, I'll try and be here early. This, it's difficult to predict the patterns really of uh, of the eaglets because it seems to vary every day. 
I've been here very early, nothing happens, and then two hours later it starts. So <laughs> I'm a little bit puzzled <laughs> when we to start because when I have my, all, all the equipment here and nothing happens, we just have to wait. Um, so anyway, um, I'll, I'll, I'll see about it. What I'd like to do is get a small table on this side. Maybe I'll try and uh, arrange that so we can leave the equipment there if the weather's fine tomorrow. I hope so. I hope so because then I can just leave the cameras focused and then they sort of cycle cycle uh, themselves and uh, it's, you know when any, anything exciting goes on you'll be able to see it during the day so I'll, I'll have a check at the weather and then tomorrow morning I'll, I'll see how the weather is and could be 8 could be 9 somewhere around there I guess okay so I'll probably sign off now simply simply because they don't seem to be very active today at least not on this side and not on the other side either, by the way. I've, I've, I've looked around. Yeah, so thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you for the kind messages. I've just read them. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, it's very nice because I can pack up very quickly. I think in five to ten minutes I'm out of here, which is great, uh, simply because everything's so compact. I don't have to carry everything away and so on. So it's much, much more enjoyable for me, too, because it's really a lot of work tra you know, carrying a computer backwards, forwards, uh, you know, dogs jumping at you, and you have to be careful that dogs don't go out and this and that. So I <laughs> the multitasking is very difficult for a man, you know. <laughs> anyway, on that note, I wish you a nice evening. Thank you for, for, for watching and joining. And, um, yeah, we'll go on this way. Okay. I'll just leave it a little bit, although not much longer, because um, packing up goes very fast now. Good night, then.